Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to discuss inside the coolest private jet, Bombardier Global 8000. Let's get right into it. Two major aircraft families, Challenger and Global, Bombardier Global Express jets are the most comprehensive in the business. As our customers' travel needs change, these planes allow them to expand within the Bombardier business aircraft family. Global Aircraft, the industry's top business jet family, are known for boosting corporate productivity and providing unmatched comfort, performance, technology and the smoothest ride in the industry. The best places in the world deserve the best support. Fly with confidence, knowing that Bombardier's services and support network will be there for you no matter where your journey takes you. Bombardier's mobile response team can reach its installed base anywhere in the world, day or night, thanks to a network of aircraft. Customers can be confident that support is always available because it has more than twice as many mobile response cars as its nearest competition. With 33% more service facilities worldwide than its leading competitor, Bombardier service centers, authorized service facility network, and line maintenance stations are strategically located around the world to better serve its customer needs. Global 8000 is an ultra-long-range high-speed business aircraft being developed by Bombardier Aerospace and is expected to enter service in 2017. The aircraft's final assembly commenced in September 2011 at Bombardier's manufacturing facility in Toronto, Canada. The aircraft's aft fuselage is being produced at Bombardier's Querétaro facility in Mexico. In March 2012, Megat was granted a contract to supply fire protection equipment for the Global 8000 aircraft. GKN Aerospace was granted a contract in August 2012 to provide composite winglets and ailerons for the aircraft. GKN's production site in Isle of Wight, UK produces the winglets, while GKN's facility in Munich, Germany produces the ailerons. Sonaka Montreal was granted a contract to manufacture aluminum wing panels for the aircraft in October 2012. In October 2012, CAE was awarded the contract to design and provide the jet simulators. Mechachrome was granted a contract to supply keel beam for the Global 8000 aircraft in December 2012. The keel beam will be produced in the Mirabel site of the company. It will be shipped to Aeolia, which will be in charge of mounting them on the aircraft's fuselage. Global 8000 Orders and Deliveries NetJets placed a $2.8 billion purchase for 50 global business jets in March 2011. 20 solid orders for the Global 7000 and Global 8000 aircraft are included in the contract. In September 2012, Bombardier secured an order for one Global 8000 aircraft from an unknown customer. VistaJet ordered six Global 8000 jets in November 2012 as part of a $7.8 billion contract with the Global Aircraft line. Design of Bombardier's Global 8000 Aircraft The Global 8000 aircraft was created with excellent performance, versatility and comfort in mind. Along with the Global 7000 aircraft, it is being developed. The aircraft's length is 30.97 meters, its overall height is 8.14 meters, and its wingspan is 31.79 meters. The flight deck of the high-speed business aircraft. The cabin of the aircraft will be big, with a volume of 2,236 feet cubed. Global Vision flight deck is installed on the aircraft, four huge liquid crystal display, LCD, screens, a head-up display system, HUD, an enhanced vision system, EVS, and a synthetic vision system are included in the cockpit, SVS. Onboard maintenance system, OMS, Datalink, SATCOM, state-of-the-art cabin management system, CMS, and controller pilot Datalink communication will all be included, CPDLC. The plane also has graphical flight planning and weather radar, which will include wind shear detection. It also has the most up-to-date performance-based navigation capabilities, such as WAAS, Wide Area Augmentation System, LPV, Localizer Performance with Vertical Guidance, Approach, and Area Navigation, RNAV. Global 8000 Cabin Features The cabin of the aircraft will be big, with a volume of 2,236 feet cubed. The cabin measures 15.42 meters long, 2.49 meters wide, and 1.91 meters tall. It will be divided into three zones, with space for up to 19 passengers and two to four crew members in each. The cabin's new large windows will let in as much natural light as possible. The three cabin zones were created to give consumers greater flexibility and options when it comes to deciding a floor plan. Convenience, comfort and control will all be provided through an innovative cabin management system. Engine and Performance The next generation GE Passport thrust engines will power the Global 8000, providing 73.4 kN of thrust upon takeoff. The engines will emit fewer NOx emissions and consume less fuel by about 8%. 
The plane can fly up to 51,000 feet in the air at a top speed of Mach 0.85. It has a range of 7,900 nautical miles. It has a maximum cruise speed of 957 km per hour and an average speed of 907 km per hour. Its maximum takeoff and landing weights are 47,536 kg and 38,918 kg respectively. The takeoff and landing distances are respectively 5,800 feet and 2,810 feet. The maximum payload is 2,585 kilograms and the maximum fuel payload is 8,171 kg. Customers can be confident that they will receive the support they need for operational preparedness and efficiencies, as well as technical aircraft assistance as needed, with more technical, operational and customer service professionals in the field. The components you require, when and where you require them. Bombardier provides complete peace of mind with over $1 billion in spares inventory and a global network of 16 parts distribution centers that transport almost 70,000 aircraft parts daily. The airplane maintenance cycle used by Bombardier has extended gaps between inspections. Longer intervals reduce the frequency of required maintenance inspections, potentially lowering operating costs and reducing aircraft downtime. That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on any future content we'll produce for you guys. We're signing off now, but we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.